week, but that doesn't mean consumers aren't off the hook. Officials ex expect interest rates were going to be going up perhaps by the end of the year. It would be the first rate hike in almost a decade. Certified financial planner Tony Drake with WealthWisconsin.com is here to talk with us about what consumers should be doing to prepare. Yeah, a lot of great things you can do to prepare, of course. Janet Yellen did not raise the rate last week, uh, but we do expect that it's coming. So a lot of things you want to watch out and prepare for, although one raise now, that means that, you know, the board felt that the economy is not in a great shape, but still some things you want to think about and get ahead of, certainly. All right. So do you expect this to happen when? Yeah, there's two more meetings. This, so there's two more opportunities, one in October, one in December. In fact, Yellen had a speech at a university today where she said it was likely to happen by the end of the year. So most economists are in agreement that it's probably going to happen. Probably be a pretty small increments, maybe a quarter point or less. So, But what does that mean? at us all at once. Right, 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 right. Not, hope not. That would not be great for the market. No, but what does it mean for Americans down the road once we see this hike happen? What we're going to see is higher interest rates when we borrow. So anytime mm -hmm. we're borrowing money, whether it's mortgage, auto loans, credit cards, that's where it's really going to affect us. For savers, it's going to be more money on your CDs and your, your savings accounts. So what do you do now? If you know this is coming, what can you do? A lot of great things. So for mortgages, if you're thinking about buying a house or maybe considering refinancing, you know, those rates have been pretty low. They've been floating around 4% to stimulate the economy, get people buying homes again. Um, but that's likely to rise. So if you're thinking about doing that, now would be a great time to consider refinancing. So it, it now is the time to, to make things happen, is that's what you're right. saying. That's right. And credit cards, too. With just a, a little bit over a 1% rise in interest mm -hmm. rates, means an extra $2 billion that Americans will be paying in interest. So mm. if you if you have a 0% you know, offer, take advantage of it now, pay off those high balances, right. and, and see if you can get those at a lower rate. So if you have debt, pay it off now while, while it's low. If you have some money stashed away, this is a good time to consider buying a house. That's right. And, and auto loans have really rise to over a trillion dollars in auto loans. So if you're getting close to buying a car now, might be a time to consider that as well. All right. We always thank you for your experience and your advice. If you have a question you'd like to ask our experts, simply email them at experts.todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at the number 967-5253.